Hi guys, welcome back to Just Jordan, Jordan 33. 33. And today we're going to be doing an update of mini weeks because we got kind of busy with Christmas and we had family up and we wanted to make Before sure we, we spent time here. with family. We're going to each read two weeks or cover two weeks each. Mm -hmm. So that's six weeks that Easy we have to cover. Right get a mega you. update. Mega update. So we're starting with week 46 on the mission. 46. And Jordan got sick again. <laughs> so Jordan, Jordan has not good luck with this. Jordan guess. has been sick a lot I'm during her mission. Her so she says being a missionary and being sick is like a million times worse than just being sick when you're normal like when you're yeah because she normal like life. you don't have your mommy to take care of you, you. Have nothing. also you have to go and do things yeah. like you're just busy so it's the not just chillaxing and having fun while sick. you're sick she Work still has a lot of stuff going on go so on. she says it's really hard there's still yeah it's just hard okay um other things that happen is she had exchanges so that's where they um switch kind of like their missionary companions and they go with another for companion for a day yeah for a day and she says she likes that it's so much fun to do exchanges because she always learns so much and she's always filled with new energy afterwards which it is good i think anytime oh, you do something new up. it gives you energy <laughs> um <clears throat> they also got to meet with the swahili sisters in iowa did yeah, you guys there's know some people this? who speak Swahili. There yeah, are. There's a big population of Swahili. There is. So she met That's with cool, Swahili sisters in Iowa and filmed a little music video of the first Noel in Swahili. Oh, I want to watch that. So, I didn't see that. Yeah. What? So what? she's really liking this, being able to help be part of the filming process. Cause that's kind of like her natural oh, yeah, like she right. grew She's... up doing it so her being able to have that just i think it's comfortable for her yeah. she enjoys it she also has been asked some important questions and i think most people get asked this question these questions when they go on their mission and so she just wanted to give an answer to these questions that she had pondered and thought about <laughs> the questions are why did i decide to serve a mission and why have i decided to stay she says, pretty good stuff. My answers, I decided to serve because of how much the gospel has blessed my life. I simply don't know how people can go on living without it. That's how big it is to me. So naturally, I wanted to share that joy with others. Why have I decided to stay? I think because I know that God has asked me to, that he has bigger things in store than just the hard times. And sometimes we've got to go through the test of endurance to reach them. I am staying because I know what a mission can do for people and I want to continually be changed in the way God needs me to be. Good so stuff, sometimes so. missionaries go home early for I mean, it's their choice. 100 different reasons, whatever yeah. reason why. But it, yeah, it's your choice. You don't have to stay the full 18 months or 24 <laughs> months. And so when she says go home early, that's what she's referring to is sometimes people go home before that year and a half or two year mark. Yeah. So. And so like obviously life has hard moments well missionaries have hard moments too that are You're difficult still in the world and so yeah she's had her difficult times like being sick like we just mentioned along many other times you could go back and watch her videos and so that's what keeps her going which is really good she also met with some really amazing friends in iowa that shared their story with how they came to america and it made her really appreciate the blessings that she has of um, being born here in America. It made her cry mm -hmm. because it's it a was hard quite process. a challenge for them to get here. We take a lot of things for granted. And we're, yeah, and we take them for granted that we're just born here and we get all these blessings. So she's um, kind of talked a little bit about that. And that's pretty much my weeks, my two weeks updates. All right, weeks 48 and 49, are you ready? These are the big weeks. <laughs> so week 48 is during the Christmas time and she titled it a Merry Christmas Quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> and our first line says, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> and so this week was crazy because they had a super crazy blizzard pass through Iowa and uh, that resulted in them having a quarantine lockdown for a couple of days because it was so cold. Like, Dresden was, was so cold that like, they said your skin would fall off, which I think is, is that like just, is, literally, or is that just? That cold. I don't know, but they did step outside to prove that they stepped outside in the cold. Like, I literally think they just stood on their doorstep, but they were bundled up. <laughs> yeah, it was super duper cold. So they just stayed home, did missionary work from the phone, but she said it was pretty nice to like switch things up for a little bit, and they uh, they painted a lot, baked cookies a lot, and it had some good times, good memories. 
And then of course it was Christmas. And she said church at Christmas was so much fun. The hermanas, the sister missionaries in the branch went up and sang a cute number, a musical number. And then she had an awesome talk from the president of like the branch. Um, and then they received transfer news. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, this is crazy. So uh, late one night they got a call from their <laughs> mission president and sadly their little companion duo was broken up which Kind of surprised Joanne because she thought she would be in Des Moines for another month because the companion she was she had was um, she was training her. She was a brand new missionary, so she thought she'd be there for her whole trainee, but she was only there for half of the time. And so her trainee uh, was told that she was going to stay in Des Moines and get a new sister missionary to be her companion. And Jordan was told that she was going back to Iowa City. Same apartment, what? same everything, different companion. That's kind of weird to happen on missions, it to is. be honest. You that's, usually go to that's why we're all like, what? Because that's not the normal. It can happen, and it does happen, but, but it's weird. But there's a reason why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so that's where she like spent all of her time leading up to Des Moines was in Iowa City, and now she's going back there. And uh, yeah, she thought she was gonna have another transfer in Des Moines. She was really looking forward to it. So this was like a complete shock, a big surprise. And then dun, dun, dun. her president also told her that she'll, um, she'll first of all get a new companion, which she was really excited about because she's been wanting to be companions with this new one. But she does miss her old one. Like it's like a bittersweet. Yeah. She's just been like for many, many months, been hoping to be companions, be companions with, this, with this sister. At some yeah, point, at some point. Like yeah, it wasn't like oh, I need to leave this. It, not that. No, she likes just, all her companions. She yeah, she loves all of her companions. But she was excited to be with this one. But she was told <sighs> that both of them would be head STLs in the mission, which is sister training leaders. So they're kind of like the like the sister missionaries over all of the sister missionaries in the area and so she was pretty shocked because of course first of all that's her first time ever being a sister training leader and then second of all because she's going to be the head sister training leader or as they say in spanish la jefa the boss <laughs> oh why and uh, the mission leader explained that this was a new thing they're trying out and that they will essentially be over the well-being of the sisters in their zone as well as the other STLs in the mission. So that's pretty crazy news. Something we all were not expecting. It puts Jordan out of her comfort zone, which yep. is pretty much her whole mission. <laughs> She's stressed. Experience after experience. <laughs> yep, so now all that brings us to week 49. She's back in Iowa City. Uh, she's now a STL with a new companion and she said they have been in meetings non-stop and they get to do exchanges with the other STLs across the mission and the sisters in their zone which she has had so much fun she's been really excited about that um, and their week started off kind of crazy because they were in a temporary kint which is five sisters so mm -hmm. five of them were together usually it's like two companions sometimes three there was five of them together it was because two sisters were preparing to go home and one was getting ready to be a trainer, so that's why they were all grouped for the day. Yeah, that's unusual. I don't unusual. remember this. I don't remember any of this. Yeah, that's <laughs> unusual. Did you read the email? Yeah, did you read the email? She probably didn't say it on the phone call, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then a few days later, they got the privilege of being in a temporary trio, and the person that they got to be in a trio with was actually her granddaughter in the mission. So these are like kind of fun missionary terms that they like to use with each other. So whenever you train a missionary, a brand new missionary, they're kind of like your daughter and you're like their mom. And then, so she, for her first trainee in Iowa City, um, that was her daughter. And then that trainee went on to train someone else later on. And that's who Jordan ended up being new companions with for a day. And so that was her granddaughter in a way, if that makes any sense. And now her granddaughter has a new trainee, so I guess she's a great grandma now. This <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird. Mm. Um, but she says, following the temporary trio, uh, the aerial book that they use literally just died on them. And that was bad because the area book is how all the missionary work happens. That's how they plan their days. They get contact information for people, remember what kind of meetings they need to go to. Everything was on the app. So it kind of crashed for a few days and Jordan still hadn't synced to Iowa City. So 
It was a little hard, but they figured it out. And then it was New Year's. <laughs> so she said New Year's Eve was a party. Um, and they actually ran into a former person that she taught in Iowa City before she went to Des Moines, which was so fun. It was, she said the reunion was so good. And then one thing led to another and they were all of a sudden making memelitos. I'm probably saying that wrong, but <laughs> memelitos from scratch with her in preparation for her family to come over to celebrate the new year. It was so fun. And she even gave us, gave us some with punch. I don't think I've ever tried these dishes, so I'm totally pronouncing them wrong. I think the punch wrong. is a drink. It's like oh. a drink with some fruit in it, it looked like. Oh, yeah. So she says it was super yummy. She said it was actually the best punch she's ever had in her life. <laughs> so, and then I just want to read what her last part of the email says. It says... I think that's mostly everything from the week. It's been a whirlwind of a time, but it's been so, so good and fun. I'm excited going into the new year. Can you believe it's 2023? One thing that they said in church yesterday was, it's no coincidence that the new year starts right after Christmas. I think that's really cool. The majesty of the atonement of Jesus Christ is that it stands for change. He lived, died, and was resurrected in order to give us a new hope. As we go into the new year, what things can we change to better align our focus on him? What goals and plans need to be set? That's up to you now. All right. We could end it right there and all of us would just be great. <laughs> but we got more weeks. We got two more weeks. We got week 50. And Jordan starts out saying, this week was so much fun. Exclamation mark. All right. Remember, she's like back where she started. She's got a new companion. She says, I really can't remember much because it went by so fast. Lots of meetings, not a lot of time, but she's getting a lot of work done. She went on another exchange as an STL, Senior tra Sister Training Leader, and she loved it. She actually went with a brand new missionary, a missionary who'd only been out for a week, and her companion went out with her other one. And she said we had a party. It was a day. It was a party. She truly taught Jordan a lot of things. She says, we laughed so hard. And we had some really good convos. Is that short for conversation? conversations? It's, it's kind of like sus is suspicious. <laughs> oh, my. All this new language. Anyhow, overall, it was a blast. And then uh, while on exchanges, another sister cut her hair. Hmm. That's a trend going on. They're always cutting their hair, which is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And she says, so that's the update over everybody's doing good next week is a conference week and it sounds like things are might get a little crazy for them probably because they got a lot of things and i think jordan has to get up and teach and talk and stuff like that so she came across a scripture and if you know what the scripture is comment down below what you think it is it says because she really likes it because it kind of really pertains to what she's doing and blessed are they who shall seek to bring forth my zion in that day for they shall have the gift and power of the holy ghost and if they endure unto the end, they shall be lifted up at the last day and shall be saved in the everlasting kingdom of the Lamb. And who shall, shall, whoso shall publish peace, yea, tidings of great joy, how beautiful upon the mountains they shall be. And she says it's interesting, all the different names that Jesus is called. In this scripture, he was called the Lamb. And she says it truly testifies of his mercy and his peace. And he has so many different names, but this one always depicts an image of love and tenderness to Jordan. So she says, he is so good. That is week 50. Are we ready? Week 51. I don't need my glasses. Because Jordan didn't write a letter this week. Because when Jordan called us on Monday, Jordan was sick again. And she was really sick, like to the point to where she wasn't really talking. She was on the conversation. So when Jordan calls home, typically what happens is Katie, Audrey, and I all jump on the phone on our personal phone. So it's like a Zoom call with like four squares. And we always try to be first, and I'm usually first. But uh, uh, anyhow, <laughs> Jordan was on, but she wasn't like the picture wasn't on. And she was talking, but barely, you could barely hear. And she just said she's not feeling well. This is the first week Jordan's ever missed a letter. So she's asking for everybody for prayers uh, in her behalf that she might get feeling better so that she can, again, go out and do the things that she needs to do, but just mainly so she can start feeling better and be her old self again. So that is week 51. Jordan's kind of down. Uh, Katie has been texting her, uh, you know, through. <laughs> So um, we can message, but she can't message back. She can only give like a thumbs up, a smiley face yeah. or whatever. So I just messaged her and then like through code, 
<laughs> so I ask her a question, then I put all the answers, and then I'm like, thumbs up, which answer is the right answer, right? So, so she's like, are you feeling better? Yeah. Are you feeling worse? How are you feeling? Yeah. Sick. A lot better. Really yucky. Throwing up, you know. So she's still throwing up. Um, and she's feeling yucky. And she feels really yucky. She's she said I think she said a tiny bit better from yesterday. Anyway, she's she's pretty sick. This is like she didn't have the strength to talk to us and that was even after having slept a very All long day. time yeah. and then she woke up she tried talking to us but she was falling back asleep and then later she tried calling us again but the same thing happened she was too weak to talk to us so very 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 sick so she's drinking broth and hopefully she's taking her vitamins she um, is she said she took vitamins and she's not sick yeah well that helps you get better and so um, that's this week jordan's down hopefully next week it'll be like she said in week 50 this week was so fun so we're hoping yeah. that she jumps back up and gets back it to was the stressful too because she was supposed to be going around to different zones this week and she feels bad because and she sick. feels really bad because not only does it tie her down it ties her companion down her companion can't go without her yep. and so it's really hard on the two of them together they're a partnership so it's rough anyway she's doing she's she's having a rough time but she's been through a lot of rough things if you've seen her past videos like <laughs> but, it hey, seems like it there's makes a you lot stronger, right? <laughs> she is mm. definitely being shaped to be stronger <laughs> for sure 100 bad days makes 100 good stories oh that's true <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's good saying anyway um I that's guess. a month worth of Jordan right there for you. Yep, a month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> month and a half. Mega uh, update. Mega update. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for supporting Jordan and for caring for her and thinking of her. And I know she misses chatting with you guys. And she does appreciate your watching her videos and your love and support. Anyway, we'll see you next time for the next update. Bye. Bye.